I'm going to be just running through the basics of the Tiwi marriage system. Okay. Uh, here we have a married male and female. Now, the, ba the basic thing to understand is that the father of the uh, female decides which male will marry his daughter. Um, and it is the daughter that he has with one of his wives that he decides uh, will be betrothed to a certain male. And on this diagram, the daughter's biologically his, but it doesn't necessarily have to be biologically his. It could be a um, daughter from a wife that he ends up remarrying because she's widowed. Just That's just an example. Um, so because a father can betroth his daughters to, uh, to any male, it is up to the males to impress the father. If the males end up uh, impressing the father, then he can then betroth his um, daughters to these males. Now this diagram shows three separate males, but he can decide to have two daughters go to one male, three daughters all to one male, totally up to his discretion. Now if a male does uh, have a betrothed wife, he must wait until that daughter is becomes of a certain age, usually around the age of 14, um, before she beco becomes part of his household. Um, so, logically, a man can have numerous wives. They can be deceased, infant, middle-aged, all would be included on his list of male, or list of uh, wives, excuse me. Um, so here we have, have a male with six wives. Um, now with these wives, he's going to have numerous daughters, okay? And he decides where all of these daughters end up being, who these uh, females end up being married to. Um, so that's, that, that's basically, let's see, he's got six daughters with six different wives there. Now what happens when the male um, dies and he leaves six wives? Well, those six wives are then remarried to six different men. Well, not necessarily six different men. They could be, um, four, two could be married to one man, whatever. Um, it's usually by the influence of their son or their father, if the, their father is still alive. Um, but because they are older and because they are, they have an opinion of their, of their own, they often can uh, remarry uh, individuals that they want to marry. Um, it's not totally up to them, but they can express their opinion. So, those are just the basics. There's a lot of politics that go into it, but that's the fundamental aspects of the Tiwi marriage system, what it was.